at here at Cedar Point. We're on the boardwalk and beach, and we're going to take a walk down the beach on the, the walkway here and take a little video of that and show. So we'll come walk with us. All right, so here's how you walk in. It's right here by the gatekeeper. And you enter right from the parking lot. And we're right here on the beach by the lake. You can go right out here. Beach access is right here. And it just goes all along the lake here. So we just wanted to show you this in case anybody's coming up here, they can check it out. When you're in the main front entrance parking lot, you just go all the way over to your right. And you'll see the entrance where we just went through. And it's right behind the lift hill for the gatekeeper, which is right there. And here comes the gatekeeper now. Which is the B&M wing coaster in the park. So we're here in August 2018 season. It's a nice day today. It's warm, but not overly hot. You can see it's nicely decorated. A lot of benches to sit on. And it's a lit pathway here in the evening time. You can see the lights just to the left. And at nighttime, there's fireworks. This is a really good place down here to see the fireworks as well. Uh, a little more unobstructed. And in the park, depending on where you are, you can see it good as well. That noise is uh, another train on Gatekeeper going up the lift hill. Directly to the left is a uh, big Ferris wheel in the park. And the Intamin launch coaster uh, Wicked Twister, you can see. The green and yellow one. goes Wicked Twister. And we do have a separate video showing this coaster. If you're interested in that, there's a, a video we published already just showing a couple runs of that coaster. It's a lot of fun. So this is a nice walk down here on the beach. And up here, a little further up, we can see people swimming. And you can see the nice decorations here. This is just looking back a little. You can see how nicely decorated it is. They did a really good job with this. Nice Ferris wheel. A lot of places to sit. Great place to take a walk. If you want to just get out of the park for a little bit and relax, get your feet wet in the beach. It's awesome. And this is the beach here. Right here on the lake. It's a lot of seagulls. One thing about this park, there are a lot of seagulls. A lot of them. And you will notice them in the parking lot as well. Here's the Windseeker, 
If uh, you guys have been to other Cedar Fair parks, you've probably seen those going up now. And way out there, the Red Coaster Magnum XL 200. That's the original Hyper Coaster Aerodynamics. The one that started all the coaster wars. Directly ahead, way down there, you can see all the colors. That is the water park here at Cedar Point. You can see a little shot to the left of the Windseeker, way back there, top thrill dragster. The 424, uh, 420 foot Stratocoaster, the original Stratocoaster. 120 mile an hour launch, that's really fun. And here comes the Windseeker coming down. Another shot at the beach. There's jet skis here. So that's a nice quiet beach. Definitely nice. Okay guys, here is the entrance to the park right here. So if you want to walk all the way around here and see the boardwalk, you can enter the park. You don't have to go all the way back to the parking lot. You can just enter the park right here from the beach side. There's a small entrance here. Here it is. It's right by the Windseeker. It's a tall ride. Right next to that is where you can enter the park also from the boardwalk. Now right by the Windseeker also, you can go parasailing, jet ski, they have all that stuff. You can sign up right there for all that. And you could do all those things. And right out here, there's someone parasailing. You can see it, maybe. So just remember the wind seeker. That's where you can enter the park and then sign up to go parasailing and rent jet skis and all that good stuff. So one thing about Cedar Point, there's a whole lot more to do than just roller coasters. So there's something for all ages. It doesn't matter. There's lots of shows, lots of things for young children, a whole lot. And of course, for the diehard enthusiast, plenty. And then you can also enjoy the beach. And you can stay right on the site here. You got hotel breakers. It's, it's definitely not just uh, your average amusement park, it's more a resort. Uh, there's cabins you can stay in. Hotel breakers right here. Cedar Point Shores, Lighthouse Point. Right there, that's the sign. And this is Lakeshore Pavilion. Everything in this area of the park seems very well manicured. I didn't expect that. I was expecting more like the concrete uh, amusement park. However, I was uh, pleasantly surprised by the the nice, you know, the aviance and the it's very nicely decorated and manicured park. Looks a whole lot nicer than I expected. Yep, there's people out there jet skiing now. And here's the beach, right here, it's really nice. And of course on the sign, July 5 through August 19, nightly, starting at 7.30, fireworks. And then that's 10 minutes before the park closes, basically, is when the fireworks start. All right, 
the volleyball courts set up here, a couple of them. And here's the beautiful hotel breakers in the back. The swimming pool is right here. There's a hot tub and a swimming pool. So you're right here. If you stay at the hotel breakers, you're literally right here at the park. You can just walk right to the park. There you go, guys, hotel breakers. And again, uh, it's a very, very nice looking place. Little place for the kids to play, little slides, small pool. You can sit right out here on the beach. And it's a huge place, fully renovated. The old hotel is totally modern and renovated now. It's a very nice place. So, there you go. It's a good shot of it right here. Yeah, you can see how nice everything is here. Looks like some Black Eyed Susans. It's just such a nice place. Sandbar. There's a bar right there where you can get a drink. It's called the Sandbar. And, uh... Here is a TGI Fridays right here. You don't even have to leave, actually. If you stay here at the Breakers, you don't have to leave. You can eat here. And, uh, I mean, you can literally come and just stay here, go to the park, eat here. You don't have to leave this area. That's probably one benefit of it. There are other hotels that are Cedar Point, like the Express Hotel. It's very close also. And I think there's another place, Castaway Bay. I believe that's one of their spots. I'm not 100% sure about that. But that's really close as well. Okay, so now we're around the back side of the huge resort. And you can see the park back there and the hotel here. So I've been trying to pause around the music so I can avoid copyrights. YouTube uh, videos are sometimes very tricky to make. Very difficult sometimes, especially in the parks, because you have the music. It's uh, it's, gotta, it's a little effort to do the videos. All right, so anyway, this is the water park. And we're still walking along the, the same walk that we started, the beach walk here on the boardwalk. And here's the one that started all the Coastal Wars guys, Magnum XL 200. You can see it going up the lift hill right now. Rode at several times. You can see all the tubes up ahead, the uh, part of the water part. There goes Magnum. Oh yeah. Okay, here's a, a parking lot and more of the hotel, and you can see the, the main park just right back there. And of course right over here is the legendary Top Thrill Dragster, which we rode yesterday, it was awesome. A lot of times that coaster has a lot of downtime. Fortunately yesterday, it was running really well, even in the evening, running very well. So it wasn't a problem, we had to wait to get on, but uh, we got on. So actually this is a nice walk. Like I say, if you want to take a break from the park, cool off a little, just go to the beach, take a walk. There's so much to do here. It's not just an amusement park. And you can see the size of this water park that just goes all the way back there. And now we're at the end. And here you go, here's the other end. We started at the one sign and now we're gonna end. We're walking beach, enjoy the rest of your day. And we should be able to enter the park over here. So we're going to go take a walk right over here. And here you go guys.
you can enter the park right here from the back side. Guys, hope you enjoyed that uh, walk around of the boardwalk and beach at Cedar Point. That was the complete start to end. And we're going to enter the park at the back side. And of course, over by the Wicked Twister, there was another entrance. So there are multiple ways to enter the park. So hope you liked it. Please uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so. And we will see you on the next video.